Back down to the valley, a grass fire in CUNA forced some folks and had them scrambling today to evacuate their animals and protect their homes. Thankfully, crews got that fire under control, but a frightening few moments for some of the neighbors. Our Shira Matsuzawa was there as crews fought the flames, and she's here now with what the neighbors face. Shira? Mark, thankfully no one was hurt and the neighbors only suffered minor injuries, but one man tells me he's extremely grateful to the fire crews who got on scene quickly and his fire break. Some people in CUNA came home to find this. A grass fire burning off CUNA Mora and South Vista. I could see the flames and smoke from Interstate 84 10 miles away, so I knew it was a bad fire. One of those folks was Jeffrey Rowe, who owns 360 acres in the area. When you're getting a call from six neighbors at the same time almost, you know it's a pretty bad fire. I was just worried about my house and the animals and I have cows in the back property. Crews blocked off the roads as they attacked the 329 acre fire from the air and on the ground Thursday morning. Here's my trailer parking. This is not good. Jeffrey shot this home video as flames inched close to RV stored on his property. It's very scary. It gets so dry out here. It's just extremely scary. We were trying to make sure that everything was all protected the very, very best we could. Ashley Talbert was just down the road from Jeffrey training horses at the Dusty Acres Equestrian Center. It was a little stressful in the very beginning, you know, because you're seeing it, you're not exactly sure what's going on, but you're feeling the wind blowing and you know how dry it is out there and you can see the fire starting to run and starting to go. He, along with others, teamed up to get the 135 horses on the property out of harm's way. We pulled everybody in, we started pulling vehicles back. Boise Fire and the Bureau of Land Management contained the fire less than two hours later. But Jeffrey says, the experience was eye-opening. You can see it's literally stopped right here. We had, we had some brush around the trailers here, but not enough to really get it on fire. The, the burnt the tire carrier on both of the trailers. Besides that, it literally stopped where my fire break was. If I didn't have this fire line here, it would have gotten on my property. It could have made it all the way to my house and burned down my house and everything. So the hours and hours I spent making the fire trail and it paid off. We all banded together and that makes it so much better out here. Here we are still standing ready to go for another day. BLM is still investigating the cause of this fire. As for Jeffrey, he says he's now going to double his fire break. Mark?